What is going on, Phantom Army? It's your boy, Phantom Stilts, and welcome back to Observer. I hope you guys have enjoyed the first two parts. We are on part three. So if you guys missed last episode, we had just went inside Amir Novak's mind, and uh, he actually, unfortunately, expired while we were uh, interrogating him through his uh, cerebral cortex or wherever uh, the chip was located in his head. So... The dream sequence, or when we went in there, the Dream Eater was a really scary experience. We saw some stuff that I wouldn't wish on anybody in their worst nightmares. Uh, really, truly scared the crap out of me. But I hope you guys are enjoying it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. That way you guys don't miss any new uh, Observer gameplay. But without any further ado, we're going to jump right back into the game here. And we are in uh, apartment 104, I believe. So let's go ahead and check our status here real quick. So, interrogate the neighbors. The nearby tenants might give some additional intel. Investigate the crime scene. So, we gotta find Helena Novak. That is the next thing that we have to do. So, we'll go ahead and search the apartment here. We'll turn on our electromagnetic vision here. And search the apartment, see if we can find any clues as to what the hell happened in here. Let's look and see. Looks like we can investigate this. Well, no. Warning, synchronization be imminent. Administer medication. What else are we hiding in here? Okay, so that's a picture of the two of them. Let's see if we can investigate what the hell happened, because that's a lot of blood. That is a tub full of blood. That's fantastic. Let's see here. Nothing but blood. Fantastic. Wedding tattoo on his left hand. This could help me find the woman I'm looking for. Okay. Like he's got some lacerations as well. The cutting pattern matches the one from previous. Okay, so the lacerations match what we found already on uh, the headless corpse, which I'm assuming is Adam. We don't know that for sure yet, but I'm assuming that's where they came from. Controlled substance, 31A, illegal sedative. Okay, so we don't know what that is. That's more synchrosine, so we'll take that. Synchrosine, refilled. Okay, let's see if we can... Can we investigate anything else? Looks like there's something on the floor here. Well, you got your last pick. Hope it was worth it. Medical grade inhaler. Okay, so this is what he must have done to uh, inhale the substance that we just found. It's this. Lousy ink. Probably got him in prison. Okay, so he's covered in tattoos. Warning. Desynchronization imminent. Administer medication. Yes. Synchrosine injected. Strain level decreased. Okay. So now we're back to normal here. Okay, so let's look around the apartment some more and see if we can find anything else. Like there's a picture over here. That looks like Janice. So that must be Helena and Amir. There's a box here. Computer terminal. Work with Chiron. Every job well done helps defend Chiron. Productive assistant. Productive citizen. Avoid civic de demotion. Remain active. Apply for an authorized appointment now. Filter appointments. Qualifications lowest to highest. Citizen class C. Compensation any. Waste disposal technician. Junior pest exterminator. Okay, so that's like a job application that probably not too important. Let's go ahead and look at the mail. First off, as your attending tattoo artist, I must advise you to stop sending me these messages. If you think you have a problem, come see me at the shop. Secondly, the piece on your neck was healing up just fine. Last time I saw it, the accelerant worked, and if it really is, as you claim, getting all messy, it most likely has something to do with your incessant scratching and tampering. For the first, for the last time, leave it alone. Drop by for a checkup if you want. Do not bore me with your petty anxieties. I'm not a psychologist, Jay. 
Last batch you brought in was partially corrupted. I've managed to salvage most of it, but like I said before, you have to give the decryption tool more time to break through their, their scramblers. If you are to keep up this arrangement, you need to deliver on your end. This is sensitive data. Each distorted line of code means hours of additional work, and my time is very precious. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. The software is undetectable. The only way you're getting caught is if someone catches you physically interacting with the workstation. I know you're scared, and I'm well aware of the risk this situation puts you in, but that is precisely what I'm paying you for, A. Sorry, Hella. I know we go back a ways, but I really can't help you this time. I really wish I could, but... Even putting aside Amir's ongoing health issues, the higher-ups have enforced a strict hiring policy. No C-class citizens, and especially no ex-cons. I know Amir's not a bad guy, and he deserves another shot, but there's really no way I can get around these asinine regulations. Again, I'm real sorry. If there's any way I can help out, let me know. Take care, Anita. Okay. Amir Novak. So this is like his, uh, his resume, I'm assuming. Okie dokie. Anything else in here that we can look at? Maybe the pool of blood? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think we found absolutely everything in here that we can, like, observe. It's over here. This is just going back out the door, okay. Leaving the crime scene. Pursuing the lead, the victim's wife could still be in the building. Maybe the neighbors know something. Okay, so that's locked. 101 is locked. Let's ask 103 if they know what's going on here. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. Well, you ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. <laughs> Noticed anything suspicious or unusual? Other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, a couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Huh. Did you see where she ran off to? I ain't one to snoop, but judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know them that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. What about the girl? Oh, she, she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean by that? Worn out, fidgety, jumping in shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect, I guess. Uh, let's talk about the man. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Probably sells the shit, too. How do you know that? What, the dealer? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I dealt he's the goddamn <laughs> man. Uh, we'll talk about domestic violence. There might be something going on. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. Then again, ain't we all? Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals. Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. Thanks. You've been very helpful. 
<laughs> That's new. All right, so it sounds like Helena went downstairs through the courtyard, so we're going to go downstairs. Hey, you! I can hear you out there. Help me, please. What's wrong, sir? Oh, I heard this awful noise. What's going on? There's been a lockdown. A lockdown? No. Oh, God, please, not today. Today, are you in pain? Are you okay? Sounds like you're in pain. Well, it's fine. I'm just... I got a, a condition. I'm, I'm waiting to have it fixed. Anything I can do? <laughs> sure, if you're an expert in corrective surgery. Seen anything suspicious? Sir, I'm wondering if you've seen anything suspicious lately. I haven't seen anything in over 40 years. Ah, that's your condition. I... I, I really don't feel comfortable talking about it. Fine, I won't waste your time then. Hey, wait, I did hear something. Quiet footsteps, deliberate, heavy breathing, angry, not hiding, hunting. Hmm, anything else? The smell, it seemed uh, oddly familiar, reminded me of my childhood. Your childhood? Yes. My family lived outside the city with all manner of creatures. When it would rain, the smell would be similar. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's go back down to the courtyard and see if we can find this chick. This is just part of the alleyway. Okay, I thought maybe there was a back door or something. Let's look at our status update here. Mir Nowak is dead, but his wife managed to escape. The Dream Eater showed me glimpses of a tattoo parlor. I think I saw one down in the building's courtyard. Okay. She might be in here somewhere. Oh my god. My timing is really off today. Poor Helena. Lazarski, 656210. We have a third victim. Time of death, about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. Okay. The tattoo gun. What's this on the floor? Wireless pedal, that's probably for the tattoo gun. I think there's a fair amount of blood on the floor. Blood is mixed with ink. Elevated hormone levels. Oh, fuck. The killer used the tattoo machine as a murder. Oh, weapon. my God. That would hurt. But she's got something on her back. Multiple puncture wounds, a few inches deep. Jesus. Pretty freaking gruesome. The Vic is one Helena Novak, wife of the previous victim, Amir Novak.
Okay. Do not admit our wrongdoings and insist that we are in the right. I'm sure the simpletons investigating my so-called crime thought themselves justified. They could not fathom that progress demands sacrifice. Okay, that's different. We have somebody that thinks killing is justifiable. All right. Uh, let's see, what's this? Hollow injector. Anything in the lockers that we can investigate? Oh, there's more synchrozine. Synchrozine refilled. Synchrozine selected. Okay. Collection of early 21st century body art documents. So these must be pictures of tattoos. Okay. There's an email. Sick tats. Hey man, I saw some of the work you've done on my friend Dave, and I got to tell you that's some seriously wicked ink. I want to get in. I want to get in on some of that. I was thinking of doing an original design, maybe a skull with flames around it, but get this. Flames are actually like animated and forming like a spider's webs on my on my elbow. I know pretty out there, but with your talent and my input, it ain't no thing. So like, drop me a line whenever you can squeeze me in. I'm good for the money too. I mean, I'm a bit short on cash, but you, but you take nutrient stamps, right? Again, love your work, man. Dope ass ink. Hello, I hope I got the right address. If this is not in fact the jacked ink. Tattoo Parlor, please disregard this message, but if you are who I think you are, I was told by one of your former clients about your special line of tattoos, the high-end kind, if you catch my drift. My son would very much like to get one of those. In fact, the needs to, he needs to get one immediately. I know it's expensive, but I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Please contact me as soon as you read this. I know you have told me not to contact you again, and I have deleted all your message history, just like you asked. I only wanted to thank you once again for the work you've done on my wife. The tattoo turned out to be a thing of beauty. She literally cannot imagine life without it. You're a real lifesaver. Rest assured, I'll have the rest of the money delivered by the end of the week. So these must be emails from uh, Amir and Helena. Uh, let's see. Can we go through this door? Anything else that we can... Uh... Anything else that we can investigate here that we missed? We got the tattoo gun, we got the pedal. We listened to the recording. Got that. What's this over here? Power adapter, that's probably for the gun. There's something over here, cash register. Okay. Let's check our status update here. Commence neural interrogation. Found Helen Noick. The killer got to her first. Interrogating the dead is strictly against protocol, but I need to know what's going on here. Okay, so we have to interrogate her. So this should be interesting. So, let's see. The neural implants untouched. Warning. Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Emergency override. Open maintenance panel. Emergency. Warning. Brainwave activity sensor offline. Emergency extraction procedure offline. This better be worth it.
okay. You want your homeland to thrive. Sure. You want to make the world a better place. Yes. Do you want to live without fear? Yes. Do you want to establish a productive relationship with Chiron Inc.? Sure. Will you cooperate? Will you comply? Dude. This is eerie as hell. Why is this game so why is this game so creepy, man? Will you conform? The Republic is your mother. Chiron is your father. A mother's love is unconditional. A father's pride demands sacrifice. Are you willing to sacrifice for the greater good? Will you obey? Dude, what the French? Finalizing subject assessment. The answers. Analyzing behavioral patterns. Evaluating life choices. Warning. To expouse criminal record. 